It's DNC on the rise. You see my team, yeah, I'm chilling with the guys. Party on the block, and it's nothing but vibes. Hello, boys, get popped. Yeah, we're living so nice. What's up, guys? DC Productions in the place to be. So, today I'm reacting to Pink Floyd Jug Band Blues. Now, from what I understand of this song, this song was written by Sid Barrett, and I also believe, if I'm correct, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the last song that Sid Barrett did or recorded or actually did a video for. It's the last song anyway. Ah, also before we begin, just to let you know, I am going to be doing the audio first. You know, because I just want to get a feel of this song without having to, you know, um, be distracted by any of the visuals. So I'm going to do the audio first. Then once I've done the audio, I'm going to do the actual video, obviously with Sid Barrett in it. And let's see how we go. Also, don't forget, you can also check me out on Instagram. I'll put a picture for you guys to see. You can follow me on my Instagram. And there I do a bunch of different stuff from music. I post certain reactions. I post a whole heap of stuff. And certain times when I've done reactions like I'm doing now, um, especially when I've done a few reactions in one day or, you know, whatever, in one filming session, I usually put up a post with, it might be a picture of me, you know, amidst the re doing the reactions or whatnot, where I put a list of the songs that I've done in that one seating. So, sometimes if you guys wanna get curious and you wanna see what's up and what's good and what am I gonna be reacting to next, you can check it out all on my Instagram. So, let's go. It's awfully considerate of you to think of me here. And I'm most obliged to you for making it clear that I'm not here. And I never knew the moon could be so big. And I never knew the moon could be so blue. And I'm grateful that you threw away my old shoes and brought me here instead dressed in red. And I'm wondering who could be right. 
it was with it. I think it was the music. It made me feel like I was at a fun fair. It kind of had like kind of the sounds that like if you really like listen carefully, like kind of almost like a fun fair. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Oh, that was a short one, boy. I was expecting that to go on for longer, innit? Because I'm used to Pink Floyd songs being longer, but. Wow. It's. It's a sad song, and based on some of the things that he's talking about, like. I don't know if that's like legitimate questions he's asking, or is it questions he's asking because at that point in time when he did this song, he wasn't fully there. I mean, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. But it's sad though, man. It's sad. Let's get into the visual and of the video and see what it's saying. It's awfully considerate of you to think of me here. And I'm most obliged to you for making it clear that I'm not here. And I never knew the moon could be so big. And I never knew the moon could be so blue. And I'm grateful. listening to Sid singing what he's singing even down to even questioning who wrote this song like it really doesn't like when you watch the visual of the video it really actually like it really hits home I didn't realize I haven't done um as much um Sid Barrett stuff I will be getting into more Sid Barrett stuff for sure, definitely. Um, always been part of the plan to do, you know, everything Pink Floyd. So, you know, Sid Floyd after our, um, Sid Floyd, my goodness, Sid Barrett after Sid Barrett. You know, all the change ups that happen, you know, within the band. I just wanted to, you know, get a taste of it all. But thank you to the person who requested this. Although this is a sad song, and looking at the video. 
it's not really one I can vibe to like that, you know, as, listen, I like the song, it's not even a question of, oh, do I like that song, don't I like the song, but what it is for me is knowing the fact that, I guess that was his last song, but even if I didn't know that that was the last song that he did, just off looking at the video, you could see, you could see that he wasn't well. From looking at his eyes, you could see he wasn't well. His hair just looked dishevelled. He, he just, you could just see that he just, in him as a whole person, he wasn't fully there. And even watching that video, like I'm, I'm even thinking like to myself, like, it must have been such, such, such a tough time for Pink Floyd as a band to see, you know, one of their friends, and not just one of their friends, but also one of their band members, you know, going through what Sid was going through. That must have been a lot. And then to then make the decision to out him out the band because of the fact that he could no longer do music he could no longer perform you know in the state and the condition that he was in wow it must have been it must have been hard it must be i can only imagine like what the band had to go through at that point now like, that's just like you know because the band originally started with sid you know the band originally started with sid in it you know and to think that you go through a journey with someone or with a group of people, you know, as that original group. But then some point in line, things have got to change because maybe somebody's not well, maybe something happened. Sometimes the bands even break up, you know. But to think that they were long-time friends even before they got into Pink Floyd, before they were the Pink Floyd that we all know and love, you know. So even before we even get into the music side of it, you know, just even as friends, to see your friend deteriorate in that way. And then obviously to go on to then become Pink Floyd, you know, so not only are you seeing your friend deteriorate in that way, but also as somebody who is very much, you know what I mean? The band, you know, without one or the other, like the, that's the band complete. And then you now have to, watching your friend deteriorate and then have to make that decision that, he can no longer, do you know what I mean? But someone did say to me that even though he was out of the band because of his um, mental condition, um, that they carried on to pay him um, up until his death, which I really like that. I really like that. And obviously, as you know, like myself, there's songs like Shine On You, Crazy Diamond, which was, you know, songs, tributes to Sid. So, ah, wow that's a heavy one that's a heavy one but anyway you guys let me know what you thought about this one here in the comments and until the next time i'm out peace Must wanna end up in so I can tell with no light is dark, but I still maneuver nice like a car in the car park. Let me put my torchlight on. There's some things need to get me some. Come on.